Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Oh my god, we're back. So this video, we're going to be making another state. So we're going to go crazy on these states, straight up crazy. Uh, last video, we made the game state. And I made a, I had a few issues, but I, we saw we resolved them in the end. Um, in this video, we're gonna go ahead into game state and state just quickly, and we're just gonna fix a few things. So we'll leave state alone. We'll we'll actually go into um, uh, game state dot h, and we're gonna add a st stack here. So I'm just gonna include stack include include a stack there we go okay so I'm gonna every stack now the idea is we have in our game class so the game is like our plate it's our base all right this is where everything exists basically so our actual state stack here exists in game okay on our plate and we're gonna add a bunch of states to this plate right like on a loaf of bread and then we're gonna put a salami on there and all that stuff so it's gonna be like a nice big sandwich all right and we will remove that sandwich one piece at a time until we're back at the plate and then we'll quit the game so that's kind of how it works uh, in a picture so it, we have our state uh, stack right here now what i want to do is i want to send that in i want every state to keep track of the character and the states and we'll add more stuff states uh wait stack state pointer pointer again because we're gonna have a pointer to the stack we're not just gonna have a copy of the stack we're gonna have a pointer to it uh, states all right so that's a little complicated but remember the other pointer thing right here all right so you're good you should be good wait uh, like that should be fine so just copy this this whole thing and we're gonna put it into the game state constructor just like we send the character in we're gonna send the whole state array or stack into into this okay game state dot cpp all right let's just do this in game state dot cpp do the same thing just copy or just paste that in there right there and then expand that and then we'll say uh, this states equals equals states so there you go now we have a a link to that outer array the outer stack in game state and we're gonna kind of do that in every every state so that's a good optimization to have or not optimization but what, what would you call that you call it a a nice uh, ease of life fix so this states I'm just gonna send this states in right there and it's gonna complain because I need to send the address of this states because the state stack is not a a pointer itself it is an object so we need to send a pointer to it which means we need to send it as the address okay this is a pointer in game state uh, anyway so if we just run this we shouldn't have any issues like in the last video uh, if we run it and we just say zero we'll quit the game but what we're gonna do is in the, our states folder here we're gonna add a new class and we're gonna call it main menu state virtual destructor okay so this is gonna be our main menu it's gonna be really simple um, just like the game state so we're gonna put main menu here I'm gonna close a bunch of files here so you don't get confused we're gonna have main we're gonna remove character and we're gonna remove state state.h uh, I'll keep main menu right there in that order kind of you see how we, which order I'm keeping stuff so just like that because this isn't gonna do much it's gonna have a private private part like that and I'll just expand this for now so it's private here and we're gonna include a bunch of stuff here again we're gonna include stack okay include IO stream what am I doing let me just go into game.h and just copy paste a bunch of this shit and like this just like that copy paste that in here stack boom I just have state, game state. I don't need state because I have game state. Well, uh, we'll keep it there. You know what? We'll keep it there. It's not good, but we'll keep it there. Uh, game state here. Stack, I'm going to have stream. We might not need. I stream, we need. Vector, we're not going to need. Stack, we're going to need. But we'll remove these two. There you go. So we removed a few things. 
Um, just put these in here. Um, now, 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 menu state needs game state. All right, since we're going to, um, we're gonna create game states from here. This is gonna be our first state. Okay, boom. We need a void update like that. And we're gonna create a functions. Uh, let's go in here. Void update like this. And then copy this menu state shit right in here. No, right here. Boom. Sorry. There you go. So we're gonna update this. Now we're gonna update the menu in here. We're just gonna have a simple menu. See out. Let me include um, using namespace std. So there we go. We're gonna have a character pointer. Character. We're gonna have a stack of state pointer states. Easy peasy. And this is going to take one in character pointer character and just copy paste this right here boom copy paste both of these into I know this is tedious I'm sorry it's really tedious but you need to do this uh, this character equals character but once this is done you won't have a problem this states equals states like that boom easy peasy okay so let's remove that and then let's do main menu like that and new line new line like that let's keep going so and then one one is or zero is quit and new line all right let's copy paste this so one is quit or zero is quit one is start game all right and we're gonna have two as create character so we can create new characters all right so this is start game this is create character and we'll flesh these out as we go along there you go so we'll just end that right there so that's the main menu kind of it's just gonna update that it's just gonna print out that uh, each time mm. and we'll obviously make a few functions in here let's just do that void print menu and then void update menu so we'll just control dot enter control dot enter close this press that control dot enter close that otherwise if you can't do that just copy exactly what this says here okay so that's a quick way to make definitions uh, let's print the menu here so this print menu this update menu there you go perfect now in the menu we're gonna have an if statement uh, if or a switch basically and we're gonna have to actually get a choice and all that stuff just like we had in game state so let's go into game state.cpp let's just see how get choice is so this is all get choices we're just gonna copy paste get choice the whole function and let's put it on top here well, let's put it after print menu like that so we have the get choice uh, main menu state get choice and obviously in the main menu state.h we need to just add that right here uh, let me just copy all of this put it in here remove this and boom you should be good boom so now we have a get choice and uh, and there we go this print menu this get choice um, or I think I should have that in update menu switch this get choice 
Okay, case, um, case, or we'll just call it default. And break or see out. This default says that there is there is no valid input, so uh, not a valid option like that. But if we do case zero, we're gonna quit. All right. So quitting means that we need to kind of uh, set the quit and just pop that from the menu. Let's see. So this quit. All right. So this set. Wait, wait, did I actually? Oh, I forgot one thing. All right, so uh, public state. Sorry about that. So you need to put public state here. Uh, set quit true. So we're going to quit this state if we say zero. Um, and case one is going to be, there you go. So this is going to be this states dot push new game state this character this states boom so we're gonna push a game state from the menu main menu state you see how that works easy peasy no problems and then case two obviously we're gonna have some kind of functionality here later so we can create a character so we can maybe go into another state push a character creator state where you can uh, create your character as you want so but this is update menu so we're printing the menu updating the menu easy peasy and uh, that's that that's that no problems that's that uh, in main menu at h everything looks fine so if i just run this a little quickly uh, we might have no problems yet Okay, quitting game. Now the issue is going to be to include all this. So game state and state is included in menu state. And in game dot h, we're including game state and state again. And we need to include menu state. Um, let's see, to optimize it, let's just include menu state dot h. That's all we need because game state and state is in menu state. And we can remove state in menu state dot h, okay? Because it's already in game state. Game state dot h has state and character as well. So we can remove character as well, as well as from here. See how we're kind of including stuff, so it doesn't matter. And we'll we'll fix our includes as we go along. Actually, I'll I'll make a little video on fixing the includes because it's kind of important. I just changed my mind mid midway through this because I, I remember how pain it is to compile stuff with a bunch of includes. So it's good to have good habits. Uh, anyway, I don't want to teach you bad habits, basically. Mm, so let's go into, let's just run this. Let's see, so we have all our includes, no issues. Okay, let's just get that, zero, no problems. Let's go and actually push a menu state in here instead. Okay, a menu state, main menu state, sorry, main menu state. Let's push that and let's see how that works out. So once I push the main menu state, we're in main menu, I can quit the game, no issues there. If I run this again, I can start the game and we're in game state. All right, if I quit this, we're in main menu state. You see how that works? You see that? And I quit it again and I quit the game. So that's how we're stacking these states and it's beautiful. It works really beautifully automatically and it's really nice. So I'll just go ahead and open game state once before you quit. Game state.cpp print menu. Let's say game menu here instead. Okay, it's the game menu. And we have main menu. Uh, if we close that down, we're going to main menu state.cpp print menu. And let's just change these into some lines here, just like that other one. There you go. Quit. Quit to desk 
desktop and that will quit the desktop so we're making it a little better sorry go into game state.cpp one more time quit to main menu okay in game state and quit to desktop just with smaller letters so it looks looks a little better uh, there you go so now if we run this we're gonna be in main menu really quickly gonna load into main menu here and quit the desktop start game create character it won't do anything if I try to press 3 it's gonna say not a valid option um, and then uh, start game and we're in game menu quit to main menu uh, quitting to main menu quit the desktop boom easy peasy lemon squeezy we're in the game no problems there you go hope you could follow me on that all of that stuff and um, I didn't fart that was just my hands coming together all right don't worry about that uh, but yeah there you go guys and girls thank you for watching thank you for sticking with me thanks for all the support please subscribe if you can if you want to if you like the channel and you want to support me you can you can drop a like subscribe I know I haven't said this before but I, I think it's really it's really cool of all of you who support me and I really appreciate it and if you can just go ahead and drop it it's, it will be really really helpful and uh, and yeah I have some links down in the description for all the stuff you need github um, all the links all the beautiful stuff so just please go ahead and do that if you can otherwise take care keep watching keep working hard I'm proud of all of you I appreciate all of you I love all of you take care I'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye